she has got her pumpkin spice latte and she is ready for the day good morning everyone oh my goodness me is there anything better than freshly washed hair after you give yourself like a real pamper the night before i feel like my hair recently has been feeling really dry at the ends i don't know what it is i feel like the change in temperature affects so much more than just like our moods it affects my skin it affects my hair i even find sometimes it affects my gut like depending on kind of like how swift the kind of like seasonal change has been um and i feel like my hair really needed that oil last night you would have seen if you watched the end of my last video that I had a really, really lovely pamper evening. Set my iPad up in the bath. I must admit, I feel like it is a game changer having one of those wooden like trays that goes across the bath because you can keep like your really nice icy water or cup of tea or whatever you like to drink in the bath. If you're a rosé girl in the bath, I salute you. Put your iPad up, put your phone up there. If you want any like hand creams or face masks, it's just like the perfect place just to lie back and relax. And I couldn't tell you the last time I'd had a bath. So it was really, really needed. And I feel like my hair is really thanking me for it. So I'm sorry if I touch it a lot in this video, but it just feels really soft. And you know, when you like, like the feeling of your hair again, and you're just like, oh, it's nice and soft. Oh, it's nice and silky. And it's always really lovely to give my scalp a bit of a treatment as well because i do get such an itchy flaky scalp so yeah i'm up and ready for the day and something really exciting has arrived this morning and i have been saying that i'm gonna order this for so long it's one of those typical things where you're like oh yeah i really need to do that oh i really need to do that. it's one of those like odd tasks that you kind of keep like putting on the back burner because it's not like essential it's not like a really important task it's just something that you've been meaning to do and that is order upside down a new stackers um section a new layer i guess is that's what you uh call it so i've got my stackers box here this is my jewelry box that i have for pretty much everyday jewelry i do also actually have a pandora jewelry box that alex must have got me when i i was maybe 19 or 20 i've had that for years and that kind of just has like sentimental pieces in that lives in our bedroom um, and I don't really reach for the actual pieces that are in here whereas this is like the jewellery that I actually wear um, quite regularly. I've got this one as well which you'll be so proud of me. I've been keeping this one so tidy. This actually I don't think is supposed to be for jewellery. I'm not entirely sure if it is but it's got this really cool little phone section which is super handy. You know when you're like phoning someone the amount of times that I've calls with my manager and I'll sit up here with my laptop put my phone out like this and then it means that I can see her and we can have our chats and things like that so it's really really hand if you're like facetiming or like watching a video or something um but then inside it's got like little sections for as i said i'm not sure if it's supposed to be for jewelry but i use it for jewelry um so i put like more everyday earrings so like i'm wearing the little pearl ones they live just here um and then there's always a space for if ever i like take my engagement ring off if i'm like fake tanning or going to the club or anything like that um, and then i just have more like everyday pieces in here and i've been really good at keeping this a lot more tidy because normally what would happen is even if i bring something out that's maybe less everyday like these two rings that i've got on these are the gorgeous pandora um gemstone rings the birthstone ones um so i've got this one is white i can't remember what actual birthstone that is or um what stone it is but this is for april that is lady c's birthday and then this one's green which is for august and that is alex's birthday um these aren't like everyday rings that i reach for time and time again so they normally live in this one but what i would normally do is anytime i would take something off even if it isn't everyday i just end up chucking it in here and then this would just get layered and layered and layered and like piled up and piled up and I've been so much better at keeping it organized, but I definitely think that I have kind of outgrown the current state of the jewelry box and i've been needing to add an extra layer for so so long so i finally placed a stackers order and ordered this one i'm hoping i've got the right color yes that is the right color i was like had to guess for a minute i was like i really really hope that i am a taupe because if not it's gonna look so odd having an odd extra color so definitely the right color well done ellie um but i have deliberately ordered this one now this one i would say is my favorite one because i just find this one is the most handy in terms of the jewelry that i have i have a lot of rings a lot of earrings and the majority of my bracelets or necklaces can kind of be like folded up and put into a little section so i really like the fact that you've got the tiny little sections all around the outside and then a bigger one here i do wish they would do some more with this thickness and a few other different like options but i do find that with the mini size which is what i've got they don't have as many options if you opt for the medium size which is a bit bigger they do have a lot more options in terms of different kind of um like different trays with different um setups and things like that um but this one i find is just like the handiest for me um the top section i really like as well actually the top section has 
spaces for rings and earrings and then I've just got like spaces either side as you can see it started getting a little bit busy and I don't even want to show you this bottom layer right now because it is overrun with jewellery so that is my first kind of like task of the day is just organising my jewellery going through it and just like making sure that it's looking as neat as possible that it's as kind of like accessible as possible and just spreading it out a little bit more because I've had a few gorgeous new and pieces like my new little where are they See, this is the problem. I can't find them. My new little Monica Vinader pearls, which I absolutely adore. And then the gorgeous new Kate Young earrings, which are just stunning. So they definitely deserve their own section. So I can really just get organized, get this sorted. So let's cue the time lapse and get organizing. Do you know I'm looking and I can't help but smile? Do you know how much I love you? You put my favorite song on, I put my feet up, and we just sing along, and I can't help but feel it. I hope that that was as satisfying to watch as it was to actually do. I feel like it's always those tasks that you put off and put off and put off that actually, number one, never take as long as you think they're gonna take. Like that was only about half an hour that I've been doing this for and I'm so happy with the results. And number two, I feel like it's always so much more satisfying than you ever think it's going to be. I feel like there's nothing more satisfying, especially when something's like overrun. Like maybe your wardrobe's gone a little bit too squished, like you have too many jumpers or something. And you can just like give it a new space and a new lease of life just to like spread things out and kind of give them a better home. Um, so I'm really, really happy with how the trays are looking. I just feel like they look so much more like spread out. And it just makes it a bit more manageable with regards to my jewellery. And it means that I can see it so much better and I will reach for more things. Um, so so top layer we've got, I've done bangles on each side. Now the only thing I find with these stackers boxes is they're not the best for bangles. I can only just about squeeze these in um, either side. It's the only thing I find with these boxes. Um, but I love the fact that you've got lots of space for like rings. You've got space for earrings. These ones shouldn't be here actually. They should be up with the, um, the rest of the earrings up there. I always love it when it's like nice and neat and aligned. And then that one can go down there much better um so yeah loving that um and then i've spread out basically what was in each of these into two sections i think i'm gonna keep this one at the top because i think this one's my favorite it's definitely got like my favorite jewelry pieces in there um we are overrun with pearls in here you can tell what my favorite thing why are you reaching over um we can tell what my favorite thing is when it comes to jewelry and that is pearls i've got my gorgeous jennifer bear pearls which i've got my own section for because they deserve their own section um by the way this bit at the back, I am pretty sure, like 99.9% .9 sure, I'm sorry, it's not focusing on, there we go, 99.9% .9 sure that this plastic bit is supposed to come off, but I cannot for the life of me get it to come off, so if anyone has any recommendations, I don't want to break the earrings, um, but yeah, I'm not enjoying having that at the back, um, but obviously we've got my Jennifer Bear with their own section, also the Monica Vinader Kate Young earrings have their own section, which I absolutely adore, and I just feel like seeing them like that is going to make them a bit more like reachable and remind me where they are um this is then gold hoops which i not gold hoops sorry pearl hoops which i actually have more of than i ever really realized um so i've got gorgeous pandora ones these ones i believe are stella bartlett um which i absolutely love and then i've got my new monica finida ones i actually have a spare little pearl charm by itself which i am debating if it will focus again it really does not like the little the little pieces you can see that this is like the tiniest little pearl um but i'm debating whether to add that to a chain bracelet um because i do love having just like little itty bitty charms on a chain bracelet so i might do that as well actually um i've then got my two pearl necklaces this is my gorgeous swarovski skirt i really like things being in a set um so i like keep this in a set by itself i've got like another swarovski set here which 
are all actually from Alex. He's very good at gifting jewellery. Um, then I've also got all of like my sapphire pieces in here because I really like to be able to wear them together. So if I know they're all together, then I'll be able to wear them all together. Um, so yeah, I've then got my gorgeous Jennifer Bear pearl necklace, Pandora pearl necklace, Pandora pearl bracelet, um, my gorgeous Pandora Diamante necklace, and my little wire cell bracelet, which I absolutely adore. It's like so, so tiny. Um, I've got another little chain bracelet here. I believe this is a fossil one. Um, it's just like a really pretty mother of pearl. Um, and then Pandora Diamante bracelets. Um, and then this section, as I said, I've just kind of spread things out a bit. So we've got chain bracelets, we've got silver necklaces, gold necklaces, gold rings, silver rings, silver rings, gold hoops, silver hoops, um, sapphire, and then some necklaces in the middle. Um, this section I always is always my least favourite. I just hate how like messy this can easily get, and I just find it's too deep. It's not really necessary. Um, but we've just got some snake chain bracelets, pearl necklace, and then a couple of the wishbone bangles which won't fit in there. Um, and then these are going to go in the memory box. This is my gorgeous Pandora um, bracelet, the first ever Pandora bracelet I ever ever got, and I absolutely adore it. Um, so yeah, they're going to go in the Pandora jewellery box in the bedroom because they're not ones that I actually wear. They're more like memory pieces um, and then this is just the spare links to my watch so so happy with that and I'm hoping that it's not going to look too tall once it's all stacked together um because we do run the risk of that but no I think that looks cute oh I love that I feel like it's just the perfect little addition to my jewelry box and it's just helped me really with regards to my organization and just making sure that my jewelry is like as accessible as possible I feel like jewelry organization is so important so whether it's like a jewelry box a drawer anything like that definitely have a look at your jewelry collection and see if there's anything you can do just to make it a little bit more manageable and then I also find that if you can see the pieces much better it makes them more enjoyable to wear so really happy with that so I was just adding the little pearl um pendant to a bracelet um, and I was planning on adding it to this Monica Vinida one. Um, it's just like a really gorgeous like silver and gold one. I feel like this is one of the first pieces that ever got me into like mixing my metals because I feel like it was the first kind of jewellery piece that really mixed the metals for me. It made me realise like how okay it was. Um, and I do like it but it's a really really chunky one and I don't know if the pearl will be better on this little Pandora gold one. It has got gold accents. So let's try it on that. Yeah I think that works a lot better how cute is that i do love adding little like pendants and charms and things like that to these um bracelets they have these little clips here only on certain ones so the big ones have these like little clips on the monica vinida one it's all the silver chains have clips um on the pandora one it's like the big ones um i think these ones yeah it's like specific ones along but it just means that you can add any like charms you want you can add any um pendants or things like that and i just think it's really cute because it makes it so much more like sentimental you can make it really personal um i do have another one which um have got a star on it so they might be really cute actually to pair together so i've got one with the star and then one with the pearl oh i like that that's really sweet oh that is really cute. Speaking of Pandora, actually, I did pop into a store the other day um, to pick up a couple of bits that were from the advent calendar, which it will technically still be available by the time this video goes live, but I think they probably would have already sold out because they're doing like a really, really, really exclusive number of the advent calendar, which if you didn't see my video, let me grab it actually. This is the advent calendar, the 12 days of Pandora advent calendar. So if it is still available, I will leave a link down below, but please don't get your hopes up because it has been a long time since it's been out. It will have been out a week by the time this video goes live. Um, but I do love how it looks inside. Do you know what, actually, speaking of jewellery organisation, you could probably use this for jewellery organisation if you wanted to. Like, I really love that you've got, like, the doors. They're quite deep. They'd be great for, like, watches and things like that. These, this bottom row is a lot deeper than the um, top two rows. Um, so that would be really cool, actually. And I just love the colour scheme of it. So I've actually kept this because I think I'm going to reuse this calendar. Maybe do, like, some little treats for Alex throughout December. Um, I feel like it seems so early to talk about, like, advent calendars and like things you're going to be doing around like the Christmas period but I've already started booking in things for Christmas which is absolutely wild. I've already booked in our trip to see at the Blenheim Palace light trail which we do every single year. It's a tradition that Alex and I do. Um, it's in the Cotswolds and it's so so beautiful so if you want to do like a weekend in the Cotswolds it is the perfect opportunity to do it and the tickets always get really booked up really quickly um, so we definitely recommend booking that. I'm also going to see the ballet for the first time this year which I'm really really excited about. Um, and a few other like classes and events and things are already starting to get booked up so 
it's time to start thinking about Christmas plans as well as Christmas advent calendars. Um, but in the advent calendar, there was two things that you could either purchase online or like go in store to pick up to use a voucher for. Um, one of which I'm really excited about is a cleaning kit. Now I actually don't own a Pandora cleaning kit. Um, I've got the gorgeous one from Lanes, but a couple of you actually did say not to use it too often. So the one that I used from Lanes when I was at Lady C's um, is one that like really does like strip off, like basically a layer of the silver. Um, a lot of you guys said that the way that it cleans is by literally just stripping off a whole layer. And so if that silver has like oxidized or gone, you know, like a lot of the jewelry had gone black, it just takes off that first layer. So it's the kind of thing that's fine to use like once in like 50 years, wouldn't recommend doing it like once a year. And a lot of the jewelry that we had that we showed you, a couple of them I think I showed you were like heritage pieces that came from my granny. A couple of the pieces were like years old. Um, and one thing I would actually say with these stackers boxes, do not keep them in the sun. Because they're quite enclosed, they're quite thick as well, there's like velvet lining, they will overheat and that's what happened to Lady C's jewellery. Basically she left it in the sun, It like where her desk is, the sun kind of like pretty much hits all day and it had literally, I think, honestly cooked the jewellery. Um, so that's why so much of it had gone so dark. Um, so that was why that was really, really good. Um, this looks like it's gonna be just a little bit more of like a simple, um, you know, like cloth cleansing kit. Um, this would also make a really good gift actually. You can buy this in store separately. Um, so if you know a jewellery lover, that would be a great, great gift. And then the other thing, in the box which you could choose which color you wanted and i know i showed you i already have it in the pink but i don't have it in this colorway and if you're looking for a great um travel jewelry box this is perfect so i picked up the gray travel jewelry box from pandora it is so so cute like a really really good size if you want to take a lot of jewelry with you it doesn't have to just be jewelry that you take in here as well but like if there's like watches or things like that um but basically it's got like a section at the top for like necklaces um which you can tuck in here and it stops them from getting tangled it's really really clever it then has a little mirror there um and then this section here and another bottom section if i can pull this out as well oh what's this I don't remember this coming with it. Oh, that's really cute. There's like a little pouch as well. I don't think I've got a pouch in my pink one. That's funny. Um, but yeah, this would also be great actually just for a normal jewelry box. If you don't have that much jewelry, um, this is a really, really good size. This could be just your everyday jewelry box that you keep on your desk. And I love that it's really pretty as well. So picked that up whilst I was out the other day just so that I can grab those because they were part of the advent calendar and I just thought they were such great things to put in the advent calendar because obviously they didn't actually fit so they just put it in in like a little like slip um you can like obviously enter the code and get it yourself um but such great gifts to get in the calendar I love those okay this is not normally the kind of thing that I would share online but today has just been one of those days where you know you just haven't had like the energy to do things as you go and I thought this would be a good time to document this just to prove to you that like our kitchen is a very normal kitchen you can kind of already see a bit of the mess behind me as i'm like starting here but things can just get a little bit out of hand a little bit out of control and actually i feel like it's because of something that i saw on tiktok recently and i think i really want to to adopt this because i do feel like if i don't do it the night before the whole of the next day it just kind of like goes to pot um and it's something that people are calling the night shift where basically you need to do a night shift before you go to bed so before you head to bed you put away like obviously you know you make sure everything's locked up you turn off the lights the usual but also you plump up the pillows you you know like put the the throws back properly you empty the dishwasher or load the dishwasher and put it on or you know things like that you basically set yourself up for the next day so it's like you know when you're a kid and you'd like make your lunch for school the day before or like lay your outfit out the day before it's kind of like that but like for the home I feel like this is like the adult version of that um and the one thing that we are the worst at is this section right here and I do have to hide it in vlogs sometimes I'm not gonna lie to you um but it just gets a little bit out of hand I mean we literally have the basil sitting in the sink right now because I was watering it and this pot is a bit of a leaky pot um so we've got the basil in the sink we have all of the cups and bowls and glasses and mugs from the day like from lunch and from um all the cups of teas all the coffees i've had from today um the countertop is also just looking a little bit messy this isn't too bad i am really really strict with what we kind of put on here because i feel like i never want it to get to a point where it is just overrun with stuff um but i just feel like there's like cloths everywhere my laptop's sitting out over there i need to plump up the pillows this actually this section i feel like is looking its best like 
out of this whole room. This isn't looking too bad. Um, but I just feel like it's one of those where if I don't load up the dishwasher or put it on at night, this is what happens. We just leave things on the top and it's like the dishwasher was right there. It is not obstructed by anything. When we used to live in our old flat, um, the dishwasher was like, it was really annoying because it was like behind the kitchen door. So you'd have to like close the kitchen door to like open the dishwasher and there was a whole ordeal. So we'd, we would usually do this deliberately just to kind of save ourselves time in our old flat. And it's a habit that we still do and it is dreadful. So I need to give this kitchen a big old blitz, like wipe down the surfaces, get it ready for dinner so that we can just have a nice relaxing cozy evening. And then it means that when I do decide to do the night shift tonight, it is going to be easier, it is going to be a lot quicker, and then it just means I'm setting myself up for the next day. So, let's blitz this. Get a playlist going, get some music on so that I can hype myself up and can get this kitchen looking beautiful again. This moment, can we stay here forever? I'm loving this moment, can we stay here together? If I could stop the time, don't you know that? I the most predictable person in the world or am I the most predictable person in the world good morning everyone it is the next morning and now I have been up been to the gym done my usual routine I thought I would just start the vlog in the bedroom at this morning because um I was just getting ready in here and guess what jewelry I have decided to put on my little Monica Vinader pearl earrings and matching my chain bracelet from Pandora with the little pearl attached. How cute does that look? I've actually copied this off Alex's mum. When we went to Lisbon, she had this beautiful like chain bracelet and had this massive like pendant. It wasn't quite a pearl. It was like almost like, like an opal, like a drop opal and it was beautiful. So I completely copied her. Um, but obviously I had to wear this today because I am the most predictable person in the world. And whenever I have something new or something that I've kind of just like redone, like I was that kid that would like rearrange my room and then like go downstairs and be like, mum, mum, come and have a look at my room. Come and see what I have done. Um, but... I was starting the vlog in the bedroom and I was thinking about what we were talking about yesterday with regards to the evening shift and it's definitely something that I feel like I am adopting um, and I did a really good job last night, put the dishwasher on, made sure to clear everything away so that it's looking really nice and neat and as much as I love doing evening shift jobs, I also feel like there are morning shift jobs to do as well. For example, the bed. I am someone that cannot leave the bed unmade. Like, Alex has even learnt how to do the bed like this. Like he knows the second he gets out of bed, whoever's last out of bed needs to make the bed. Um, and I feel like I try and keep it as simple as possible because I do feel like if you overcomplicate things, it's not gonna get done. Like neither of you are gonna want to do it. So I don't even bother like chopping the pillows or anything. Um, like I literally just do a little stack of three here and then I just put the um, this H&M throw over the top, which I am thinking about maybe updating this for something a little bit more like winter appropriate. I've seen a gorgeous throw from the White Company recently and it is beautiful. Um, and yeah, that's all we really do. We just pull the sheets up. I don't even bother like doing the fold over or anything like that. Cause I just feel like when it comes to chores around the house especially if they're like daily chores you want to make them as like easy and as kind of like least time consuming as possible because that will make you actually do it um so i was just thinking about some like morning shift jobs obviously this thing's like opening all of the curtains like i always open all the curtains as soon as i'm up like getting all the curtains open and um, maybe unloading the dishwasher getting breakfast ready doing your morning cup of tea making the bed setting yourself up for the working day i would love to know what are like your evening shift and your morning shift like chores that you do and are you someone that's really regimented with doing them because i would love to know that i just feel like it's really interesting hearing about like different chores and like things that people do whether it's like a morning chore or an evening chore um as you can see it's a beautiful sunny day today we've got a lovely sunny autumnal day and i feel like my lips i'm loving the lip color i put on today i feel like they're looking very bold i'm not really a bold kind of a lip anymore but this is like a little bit more of like a almost like a corally pinky color i actually put on this today this is the sculpted by amy it's like a mini lipstick like how tiny is that and it is in the shade mauve and it's such a beautiful like for me your lips but better shade like look at that so so stunning so i put a bit of that on this morning and 
I'm loving it. I have just thought of another like morning shift task that I like to do and I definitely don't do this every morning but at least I would say once a week and if you haven't done this for a while this is your reminder all of your reed diffusers around the house to turn over the reeds. Um, I do have some more that I could probably add to this one, but I don't like to add too many because number one, I like it when it looks a little bit more like minimal. I like it when there's not too many um, in there. And I also don't want the oil to go down too quickly. Um, but just turn your reeds over and it will literally just reignite the scent um, and just like give you a new lease of life. Like whenever the real reeds start to get a bit too oily, just turn them over maybe once a week. So this is your reminder to do that. I'm gonna go around the rest of the house and do it now. Bathroom reads, turning over. Love this ritual scent, this is such a nice one. Hallway reads, this one looks like it is getting near the bottom. I might have to update this one as soon as you can see. I like to have a lot more reads in this one because this is the first room people come into in the house and I always like it to smell nice. Living room and kitchen reads. As you can see, this is the one with the most amount of reads in it because this is the biggest space. Oh, and I always like it to smell beautiful. I have to admit as well, the scent on my fingers, honestly, they always smell incredible after doing this task. I mean, I would definitely recommend giving them a wash because obviously it is oil, but oh, I can already smell this just like coming up again and I can just feel it like filling the room. I love it. And last but not least, Alex's office, which, oh, looking at this, this definitely could do with um, a new read in here. Is there any, anything left? There's a tiny bit left in there. Oh, this might mean that we need a bit of a trip to the white company to get some more seasonal reed diffusers. So we're up in the bedroom because it is such a beautiful day today. The light is just hitting in this room so beautifully. I always find that kind of like mid afternoon light in here is my absolute favorite. I just love it. It just like lights up this room. And actually, despite the fact that we have gray walls, I feel like this is a very light and bright room, which I absolutely adore. Um, and I have something very exciting to unbox with you guys. So I thought that we could unbox this together because this is a really, really exciting new delivery that I have been like umming and ahhing about for such a long time. It's from one of my favorite brands, Holland Cooper. And you guys know how much I adore Holland Cooper. Sorry, the light is probably gonna change because we're a little bit backlit. Um, but you know how much I adore Holland Cooper, particularly for like autumn, winter. And I get so much wear out of their pieces. In fact, this is actually a Holland Cooper dress that I feel like I've worn so much because especially on days like today when I'm just gonna be at home, I'm just gonna be doing like jobs, I need to maybe film some reels, so changing easily, I'm gonna be answering calls, so I want to like look quite professional. This is like the perfect at home dress for me. I absolutely adore it. This one's actually moved to the Bista Village um, outlet, which always reminds me that I really wanna do another trip to Bista because I have not been to Bista Village for such a long time. But that is by the by, we are getting completely off topic. This is a new in piece from Holland Cooper. And I first saw this when I was at the Burley Horse Trials, which I will leave that vlog link down below. So if you haven't watched that vlog, it was such a fun time. Like I really, really loved going to Burley. It was the first time I've ever done anything like that. And I really got to see the Holland Cooper pieces in person. It was the first time other than going to Bista that I've seen the Holland Cooper pieces in person. I was able to feel them. I was able to like try some pieces on. Like they had such a gorgeous just stand there and this I'm not gonna say what it is but I fell in love with and I just thought that this would be perfect actually no I'm gonna say what it is this is my dream winter coat I'm just gonna put it out there and say it how it is because this is such a me piece and I feel like I'm really gonna get the wear out of it actually. I feel like it's one of those pieces that's quite unique, quite individual, but for me, I do think it's gonna work really, really hard in my autumn winter wardrobe. So I'm gonna stop gabbing and we can unbox this together because I feel like this is just perfect. I always adore the Holland Cooper packaging as well. It's always so beautifully wrapped. Oh my gosh, oh, it comes with a hanger. Oh, that is so, so lovely. So I don't know if you're gonna be able to see it, but look. At that trim, I was gonna say fur trim, it's definitely a faux fur trim um, from Holland Cooper, but look at that trim. Oh my gosh, and this is actually a coat cape. Look at this! Oh my goodness me, we're gonna have to try this on and style it up because I am so excited to wear this. I'm actually really excited for when the weather starts to finally drop, like the temperature drops, because we've had such a mild October this year and I've not really been wearing many coats. Um, and I feel like this is just gonna be the perfect, 
perfect coat to take me through autumn and into winter i'm obsessed with the pattern on it it's got this really gorgeous like houndstooth pattern which is so so beautiful got a bit of fluff there but such a gorgeous pattern i'm obsessed with the like trim as well it's got this really stunning like brown leather trim it's got like a brown leather collar as well so if you get really cold you can really like snuggle yourself up into this keep you really really warm and i really love the fact that this isn't itchy at all like i have had some faux fur collars in the past i've not even been able to like wear properly around my neck because they start itching whereas this feels so soft i cannot get over it i feel like there's just so many design details to this as well like look at these cuffs for the armholes this is absolutely beautiful and at the back we've got the classic holland cooper logo would you look at that oh my word let's take the plastic off because I know I'm going to be keeping this baby. There is absolutely no doubt in my mind that she is not going to be staying in my wardrobe because she's just so timeless and classic. Like, it's one of those pieces that's such a statement piece, but I definitely think it's the kind of piece that I can wear again and again in my wardrobe. Like, there's loads of different ways that I can style this. I might actually do, like, a full styling up of this, show you a few different outfits that we can wear with it because I feel like it's one of those pieces that maybe is a bit daunting when you first look at it. And actually, when I start showing you how to style it and how you can wear it, it makes you realise how, like, versatile it is um and i believe they had a couple of other kind of like variations of this like a couple of other other colorways or patterns i can't quite remember so i will leave them linked down below for you guys but it's official my dream winter coat i am so now I've never actually ordered a coat from Holland Cooper before so I don't know if it's just for this cape or if they do this with a lot of their coats um the only other coat I've got from them is the gorgeous oh what's the name of it? something trench Grayson trench um my gorgeous like camel colored trench which was a kind of like partnership with them it was a part of um the Burley horse trials reel that I did um so I don't know if normally this comes with all of them but this actually comes with not only a hanger but also a suit bag which I just think is so so cool and as you can see the suit bag has the Holland Cooper logo on which I just feel like makes it feel so so special this would also make a great gift I know it's quite early to start thinking about like Christmas gifting but how amazing would this be as a Christmas gift for someone that you love also because it's like a one size you don't need to worry about sizes or fits or anything like that um so really really exciting but I just wanted to show you that before we start styling it up because I've never received that before and I just feel like it makes receiving the coat feel even more special. I know sometimes some people can be a bit funny about like shopping high-end expensive pieces online because they're like oh well I want the experience of going in store but when you get something like this it just makes the experience so much nicer when it comes to online shopping. Um, so yeah right let's try the coat on and style it up. Okay, I'm hoping that you can see me from all the way over there. I normally like to do my outfit trials in the mirror because I just feel like you're so far away. I feel like shout to the camera so hopefully you can see me. Hopefully you can hear me, but the main reason why I didn't want to do this in the mirror is because the whole time I obviously have to hold the camera up like this. So I feel like you can't get a true representation of what the cape actually looks like if I'm just constantly kind of like covering half of my body. So fingers crossed you can see this okay. Um, but first outfit, I was actually really unsure whether this was going to go with the dress that I was already wearing, but I feel like it works so perfectly together i absolutely adore the black underneath one thing i would always recommend when it comes to shirt dresses is to unbutton a few buttons i feel like having just a little pop of leg is really really flattering especially if you're a short girl like me sometimes having a lot of material especially around like this area can be a bit overwhelming so it's quite nice when you just get that little bit of movement you can see a little bit of leg underneath i personally find it so so flattering but can we just talk about how gorgeous the cape looks and number one i love the fact that they have these like armholes um so you know exactly where your arm is supposed to be it's not just like an open cape so it means that it sits so nicely on your body now i really wanted to tie in those like tan tones we've obviously got the black of the dress and i really like that the black cuffs show through underneath like obviously if you had like a shorter sleeve you wouldn't show that through but i actually kind of like it i feel like it adds the like cozy vibe um so in terms of bags i've actually gone for the holland cooper canvas bag which I do absolutely adore and I just love that Holland Cooper really tie in all of their pieces together so we've obviously got the tans of the bag 
it works really really well with the tans on the coat um although the tans on the coat are actually suede which i really do like and i just am so obsessed with the fluffy collar i mean look at that it just looks so so cute i also love the length of it i feel like it's a really nice length like it's not too long it kind of comes down a little bit longer at the back so your bottom is nice and covered but at the front it's just like a really really nice length and i feel like it's going to work so well with dresses with trousers so i'll show you a couple of other looks uh, but i really wanted to bring in all of the tan tones so we are going full auto mode with some knee high boots these are a pair of duo boots that aren't available anymore so i'll see if i can find some similar looking boots and link them down below for you guys um, but it's really important for me for like the tans to match up and i really like that these boots are like a darker tan to a few other things in my wardrobe so they work really well with the canvas bag and of course it works really really well with the coat and this to me is like such a perfect like meetings in london look like this bag is fab when i'm going into london because it does fit my laptop in just i do have to loosen the um like strap in order to fit it in i think i've got the 13 inch macbook potentially um but yeah so it just about fits everything that i need so it's a great london work bag um and then the coat just works so so well to like elevate the look make it look really beautiful and it just looks like she is ready for business she's ready for meetings she's ready for london and i am so obsessed with that now this is probably going to be the way that i wear this cape coat the most because you know that i live and die in jumper dresses throughout autumn winter i just absolutely adore them and sometimes it can be really tricky to find like a shorter length coat that works really really well with these dresses which is why i feel like this is my dream coat it's just working with everything that i'm putting it on with at the moment so i really really like how this looks i've gone for all black this time just to show you that you don't, you don't have to like incorporate those like tan tones they can kind of just like stay by themselves they can not be a feature of the look so i really want this to be an all black look so i've gone for my favorite little vivaya boots these little sock boots which are just my go-to in autumn i absolutely love them little new look jumper dress and my ysl cassandra bag obviously you can change up the bag if you want this to be more of like an office look go for like your big office bag i feel like would work really really well but for me you know i love my little handbag so another really cute look i just adore how the coat works with the dress and i feel like as i said it's so rare to find shorter coats that work really really well with long line jumper dresses so i'm so glad that i found this one and another Ellie means business look. How cute is this? I thought I would leave the cape open just so that you can see what it looks like. I feel like leaving it open makes it look more like a coat than a cape, more like, like a jacket kind of start. And I really, really like that. And I've actually styled this up with an old Holland Cooper favorite that you would have seen in my last Holland Cooper unboxing. It's the really gorgeous little um, turtleneck and it is actually sleeveless, which I quite like because it means it's a little bit more kind of like open, perfect for autumnal styling. And what's so nice about this cape is it's actually so beautifully lined. It's got like a silk lining. I mean, look at the color of that how stunning the way it moves it is just gorgeous so it works really well if you want to leave it open and like kind of have a bit of the silk lining showing um or obviously you can like not um but it means it's really comfortable like it's not itchy or anything on your arms which i really really like and i do actually quite like having my arms kind of free a little bit i feel like it really like emphasizes the whole kind of like cape aspect of the coat so i really really like that so i've just gone for wide leg trousers with this one just to show you how you can wear it with like trousers if you want to i feel like this would make another great office look if you wanted to do cigarette trousers or like straight leg trousers that would also work really really well and then i've gone for the vivaya boots as well and my little mulberry bag so again just bringing in those like black tones to really let the coat kind of do the talking sometimes it's really nice to like not pair everything together in terms of like the coat the bag the shoes sometimes it's nice just to keep your look really basic underneath and then let the coat be the thing that's like the statement in the outfit so another gorgeous look another real like ellie means business kind of outfit okay and for the last outfit i wanted to go for something a little bit more casual just to show you that you don't have to be fully dressed up to the nines with all of these looks so i've actually gone leggings and boots now i've kept on the same holland cooper roll neck you can literally wear any like jumper roll neck sweatshirt over the top um but i just wanted to wear leggings and boots just to really like bring the outfit down make it very like country chic so these are actually the sweaty betty leggings that you would have seen in my last video my last zara haul where i did a bit of a collective haul and i am loving these so so much because they're not see-through they're not like showing anything um so they're really perfect and they work so so well with the cape and then i've got another pair of duo boots um which i'm not sure if these are still available i'll have a little look and link them down below if they are um but i love these because they're like a brand they've got the suede detail which pairs so beautifully to the suede detail 
on the cape. In terms of bags, I feel like you can kind of do anything with this. I actually might do my little Louis Vuitton. And I feel like bringing in all of those brown tones, you could wear a crossbody or just hold it in your hand. I feel like it works super, super well. Something a bit more casual, just to bring down the cape a little bit more and just show you like there's lots of different ways that you can style it. Um, so it's official. This is my dream coat for winter. I've already got so many looks thought through and I'm sure I can create so many more but if I do this video will be 10,000 hours long so yeah I'm in love <laughs> and actually on that note of video length I think I'm probably gonna leave this vlog here because there has been a lot of styling in this video and I just want to stay in this for the rest of the day I feel so so cozy as I said you can also like do it up and just like get really snuggly in it like you can really put the collar around your face if it is getting really really cold and here in the UK especially like around December January time this is going to be the perfect thing just to keep me really nice and snuggly warm so I am absolutely obsessed with her I will leave her linked down below as well as long as to everything else in this video you know the drill check out the description box if you want any links to anything I've been wearing talking about showing it will all be down there just click the little I think there's like a three buttons next to the video title and it will show you all of the links that I have left for you and if you got to the end of this video leave the word cozy down below in your comment use it in a sentence if you want because i love it when you guys do it really like subtly a bit more incognito and put it in your sentence but leave the word cozy down below if you got to the end of this video make sure to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already and i will see you guys in my next one Mwah.